In this video, we will discuss the basics of chatbots. So far in this particular tutorial series, we have been discussing the theoretical concepts such as what is part of speech tokenization, what is NLP pipeline and so on. And in the last few tutorials, we discussed different text representation techniques such as bag of words, uh, label and one hot encoding, etc. And we were discussing fast text based classification, etc. In this video, we will discuss a practical application of NLP. And you all know that chatbot is one of the biggest uh, application. Uh, if you talk about NLP in general, in your day-to-day -day life, you might be using multiple chat ports either on your mobile app or through the website. In my case, I have this Verizon wireless phone and this Verizon plan uh, has different options and device uh, selection, etc. And I use that chatbot on verizon.com. So if I have a question, uh, the chatbot will ask me what kind of uh, question category you want to select. So this is more like if you look at it, it's like a fixed menu option that it gives and you just select the option. So now I said, okay, I want to know more about my plan. And here it is saying, okay, plan and usage or manage add-ons. Okay. So initially it was my plan and add-ons. And then when I sl select the third option, my plan and add-ons, it gives me uh, a choice to further rectify my selection. So I'm saying, okay, now I want to manage my add-ons and it will ask, okay, to begin with, let's start with your phone number. So it will ask me for my phone number, etc., And then it will offer me different type of options and I can just select any option uh, to get more information on it. These are called flow based chatbot where you are represent represented with uh, fix options. I'm showing you a screenshot of my PNC bank uh, chatbot. So when I call them, they will give me fixed set of options. What do you want to do? Okay. I want to make a payment. Then I select that. Then they will give me three or four more options. Okay. Uh, so these are nothing but the decision trees. So you give one option, then it will say my plan and add-ons, then further two options. Then when I select manage add-ons, there are further two options. So it's a decision tree. It's a rule based system where you select one option and then you select other option and so on. You don't require machine learning for this. It is a simple rule based programming that you can do. But then things get interesting where you can write free form uh, English questions. So here I'm saying in the same chatbot, OK, what was my last month's bill? And it will answer that I'm logged in, of course, so it knows my phone number, etc. And see, it is giving me the bill, the date, etc. You can also type another question, say, saying how much paid I last month or how much I paid in last few months. And it will show you month by month list. Now, this is little sophisticated than rule based because it is parsing my English statement and it is understanding what I want to do capital one which is a credit card company they have this chatbot called eno and in this you know you can say what is my available credit or show me my last three transactions and it will understand that language so this is an nlp based flow chatbot okay here see when i say show recent ch charges you can also tweak your question and you can ask differently but it will understand so it has that language understanding. The other example is Domino's chatbot called Dome. So here I can say I want to add place an order of two pizza and one liter Coca-Cola. See here I, I just gave that order and it will ask me a bunch of questions like you want to deliver, you want to continue as a guest. Um, you know, it asked me for my phone number. Of course, I'm giving a wrong phone number here and then house a street address, etc. Okay. And I'm giving zip code. Now I give invalid uh, zip code and it says, see, sorry, I had trouble. So it has that intelligence. It knows this is not a valid address. So it will do a conversation with you and eventually you will be able to place your order. The other example is Amtrak's Julie. So Amtrak is a train a company here in US. I use it when I want to go from New Jersey to let's say Baltimore, Washington, DC. 
I will use uh, this kind of uh, chatbot where you will just say, okay, book me tickets. You can say one way, two way, you give your city. So sometimes you select options, sometimes you type uh, in English language which cities, but this is also more like rule based uh, uh, chatbot where they are asking you, what do you want to do next? What do you want to do next? Okay. And once everything is done, they will give you that button and you can just say find trains. When you click on that, you will see this kind of nice UI where you can select the train, available trains, okay? Then comes open-ended chatbots such as ChatGPT. Now in ChatGPT, you can uh, ask any free form of question. So right now I'm asking you how many states are there in India? And then next time I can say, tell me the recipe for samosa. So I can change a topic. I can have an open-ended conversation and chat GPT will handle that. Compare this with our previous scenario where if you are on Amtrak Julie, uh, that chatbot only knows about booking trains. It knows a fixed domain and it will ask you questions one by one. So it is more like, more like rule based. Whereas this chatbot, chat GPT is an open ended chatbot. All right. So these are the two broad category of chatbots, flow based, or rule-based chatbot and open-ended chatbot. In the left side, you have a specific goal. On the right hand side, you have goal, but you are talking about different topic. You are changing uh, your questions. Uh, you are even changing the conversation theme all the time and it can still handle it. Now, if you talk about implementing this chatbot, because that's what we are going to do in this tutorial series. See, there are two things here. First one is fixed rule based chatbot where you don't need any coding. It's just a decision tree. You can write a bunch of if else statements in your Java or React, whatever programming language you're using. On the other hand, in case of NLP based chatbots, you can use a framework such as Google's Dialogflow or you can do custom implementation. So let's talk about that a little more. When you talk about using a chatbot framework, there are tons of frameworks that you can select from. Google's Dialogflow is very popular uh, framework for creating chatbots. There is Rasa, there is IBM Watson Assistant, Amazon Lacks, Microsoft Azure also has their own platform. There are tons of them, but Google's Dialogflow, Rasa, IBM, uh, these are like popular ones. And we are going to use Dialogflow uh, in this particular tutorial uh, series. And when it comes to custom implementation, you can use variety of approaches. You can use OpenAI's API to call a GPT LLM. You can have uh, open source LLMs such as Hugging Face Bloom. You can use found some foundational models from AWS, let's say AWS Bedrock. You can pick any uh, Jurassic or any other Titan, any other uh, model from it and use it. There are a lot of customizations that you can do if you're going with your own custom implementation, okay? But when you use a chatbot framework, you can develop things faster. Now, you all have been using ChatGPT. ChatGPT sounds like a miracle. And one thought that comes to anyone's mind is, is ChatGPT or LLM or OpenAI the silver bullet for all chatbots? Is it that since ChatGPT and OpenAI is out for usage, the framework such as Dialogflow uh, are going to be dead? Well, the answer is no. What happens is when this kind of technological breakthrough happens, people think that ChatGPT or OpenAI is going to magically solve all their problems and they don't need any other solution. But that is fundamentally wrong. If you don't trust me, you can ask the same question to ChatGPT. And I have here asked this question and say, can you make a comparison table for building chatbot using Dialogflow versus doing it using OpenAI API? And so it is clearly outlining uh, certain criteria. For example, for ease of setup and configuration, Dialogflow is relatively easy. Whereas OpenAI custom chatbot setup requires more technical knowledge and setup. NLU, which is natural language understanding, me meaning when you are asking any question, it understands the intent, the entities, that is NLU. Dialogflow can do it very easily. Whereas in OpenAI, 
you have to do some custom handling then training data pre-trained models are provided in case of Dialogflow whereas here in OpenAI you have to do fine-tuning or custom training in terms of context management we will see what is context management in the later videos but Dialogflow has inbuilt context management features whereas OpenAI again you need a lot of customization using Dialogflow you can seamlessly integrate with other platforms such as slack for example you want to build a chatbot and put it in your slack or discord server with dialogue flow it's easier whereas in chatbot built using openai you have to do everything on your own it's very very custom cost uh, last time i checked uh, openai's pricing it seems costly they charge you uh, for generating embeddings and various other services Whereas Dialogflow, it, there is a cost, but it's relatively cheaper. Okay, so you can ask this question to ChatGPT, such as uh, since a OpenAI and ChatGPT house is Dialogflow dead, and it will tell you no. That is that is a very naive question. These platforms will always have relevance. In many cases, using Dialogflow will be much better a choice compared to using uh, OpenAI. Now let's talk about some of the benefits of using Chatbot. Uh, previously, when there were no chatbots, uh, businesses would have customer care center. So I have this picture of customer care center where there will be human staff. They will be answering the questions which are, you know, generated by the customers of any business. But there are certain disadvantages of this human approach, which is scalability. When your business grows and let's say you have 100 people in your customer service center, your business grows rapidly. Let's say there is a merger and your business now need instead of 100, let's say 500 people for uh, customer care. Achieving that scale is harder with humans. Whereas in, in case of chatbot, you can deploy more resources in the cloud and, and you will get scalability very easily. 24 by 7 availability. I know that customer care centers have shifts, so you get 24 by 7 as well. But in case of chatbot, uh, they're not humans, so they, they can just work all the time so you get that availability you also get cost saving it's cheaper to build a chatbot rather than hiring people uh, for doing customer support and see there is a better customer service uh, because chatbot will respond immediately like at a fraction of second in case of humans based on a workload there might be delay you know sometimes when you call some service this they, they say okay our representatives are busy there might be a five minute delay this doesn't happen in in case of a uh, chatbot there are a variety of business reasons why people build chatbots okay um so that that was the introduction that i had for today folks uh, in the next video what we are going to do is take a real business use case and we will build dialogue flow based chatbot end to end okay so we are going to take a problem do data collection whatever data cleaning build a chatbot in dialogue flow end to end and it, it will be based on a real business use case we are not going to use any toy uh, data set here uh, so stay tuned uh, i know this particular video was a little shorter uh, i just wanted to get started with the introduction to chatbot in the next video uh, we will do full-fledged tutorial so the next video is going to be much more lengthy uh, and it will be short of like an end-to-end -end nlp uh, project so stay tuned folks and if you uh, like the content that we're building give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel actually we have been doing a lot of hard work and you subscribing to the channel or sharing this content with your friends uh, it will take very less time for you but it will mean a lot for us so if you like the content uh, please uh, take those actions thank you